<laughs> Yo, what's good, everybody? Hey, man, it's your boy, Rob, from our lifestyle. But we with the black sheep today. We at Blend's Barbershop here in Mesa, Arizona. You damn right. I came all the way out here because we have a photo shoot going on today. It's our new line and everything that's going along with it. Hey, man, this is the man that's actually bringing it to us now. Yo, E, tell them what's good today. Tell them, what, tell them what we do it, dog. Well, we got our summer line out. So what? we have to showcase that. That's right. Downtown Phoenix, heritage, culture, everything the black sheep are about. We're going to do it here. But first, we got to get a fresh fade. Hey, man. And along with a fresh fade, always come with a great conversation. Hey, man, we got this dope barber, man. Now, our boy Alan's been telling us about him, right? We met him once before, right? Yeah. But it wasn't a long conversation. And it's, this is not going to be even that long conversation either. We can give you a sneak peek into what's yeah. previously coming, man. Hey, man. We have Blend's Barbershop, baby. That's how you do it. So offended that I had to double check. I'ma always take the money over sex. That's why they need me out the way what you expect. We have Lynn's Barbershop here in Mesa, Arizona. Oh, no, no, exactly. Really hey, man, this is Alan's spot, right? So, you know, Black Sheep Brothers, we're <laughs> doing the brotherhood thing. And uh, we had to get the haircut first. Because, you know, later on, photo shoot time, right? Hey, man, but enough about me. Hey, let's talk about Alan. Let's down. break this in. You know how conversations go in the barbershop. So, you got to be polite. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Uh, Alan Fan with Black Sheep Heritage. And today I'm at Blend's Barbershop. Obviously, I'm getting a haircut. We had a uh, photo shoot tonight. So I'm getting a little swiped up. Uh, but yeah, this is Blend's Barbershop. The guy cutting me up. He's the owner. I've been coming here since 2015. And, you know, it's a place where I like to come every Saturday, stay fresh, but also have those um, conversations because this is more than just a barbershop. Um, this place, you know, I'm very comfortable coming here. And, and just like your brand, I like what you represent, and I like what, what I, you know, it's the same value yeah, that I have, yeah. you know what I mean? So I definitely uh, like, like chopping up with you guys and do um, what you guys do. I, I really like what you guys do. And you know me, you know what I do, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've, been, I've been coming to Adolf for a while. And, you know, he's at another level when it comes to barbering. Um, he has some of the best fades here in Arizona. And for small business, for sure. Yeah, for sure. And, um, you know, tonight we got that photo shoot, and I think Adon will be coming with us. But Adon, can, oh, oh. can you tell more, uh, provide more information about yourself to our audience? Yeah, I mean, um, we started in 2015, still going at it strong, you know what I mean? Having every stop. Um, trying to get uh, expand, grow, let everybody know, you know, who we are. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just one day at it, you know what I mean? So he was your first, yeah, first he, haircut. Yeah, he popped our cherry. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first haircut ever here. And because, um, what made you start it? What made you start this place? Like, you know, everybody got their story. Yeah. Or, you know, a little, I don't want to say little, because yeah. everybody's, everybody's transition is like different. I mean, quick, uh, quick story, just to make it short, you know, it's a video, um, started in 2015. Just in, in trying to do, do your own thing, you know, like be out on your own, not have to rely on nobody, and and not to, you know, be your own boss pretty much. So it all started with the vision and, and a lot of hard work, and then put it all together, you know what I mean? Put the, put the vision, you know, on a uh, business plan uh, into reality pretty much. Right. But it wasn't easy, I'll tell you that much. It was a lot of hard work. It's kind of like the fashion game in a sense, man. It's like everybody can... Be a barber, but what yeah. makes a barber like barber. stand out, man? That's, that's you gotta have your own style. You can't really try to be. You gotta be original. You know what I mean? You gotta be confident for sure. Authentic. Yeah, you gotta be. Uh, you gotta be on your. Uh, know what you're doing. You know what I mean? It takes time though. You gotta build yourself up for sure. Hmm. That's dope. That, that's dope, man. Hey, of course we want to get more in, de in detail with this whole conversation, but I rather. 
Hold this Save that for the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Damn right, you're going to save the podcast. Yeah, yeah, so you guys got to come back and check out Black Sheep Heritage on our, you know, Black Sheep Paula. Check it out. You're going to see this man up here. Rip it up. We're going to get real deep on that one, all right? We're going we're to talk about where he's from, what where his passion as we drove from, and um, what keeps him going now, all right? All right. So, man, hey, thank you, my brother. Right. We appreciate it. Yo, man, y'all ready for the next step? Take it off, trying to get me yeah. on my soul. Thankful for the women that I know. Can't go 50 50 with no sense. 50,000 on my head is disrespect. So offended that I had to double check. I'ma always take the money over sex. That's why they need me out the way what you expect. Got a lot of blood and it's cold. Doing different things and organizations. Of course, Lady Blingy. Different shots, man. We were everywhere, man. But you know something? I think you guys need to know what we're really about. So 
I'm gonna ask this question to all my three guys, right? Because you know what three of the guys that run black show. I'm gonna ask you these questions. Where were you when you were asked to join black show? Yeah. That's how I think we should start the conversation off. Right, right, right hand on top. Yeah. After I hit this. Y'all ready? What was best for you? Where was I? No, no, no. Yo, Big E. Hey, man, what's good, man? It's been three years, dog. You know, man, you started this whole thing off. So, what made you start this black sheet, man? Like, well, I mean, it all stemmed from a uh, way of being since growing up to my adulthood. Uh, I was severely injured, broken back, bedridden, getting overweight, dealing with a lot of uh, professional problems at work, injustices, prejudices, just because of a different language, the way I communicate, the way I think. And I uh, just thought about everyone in the workplace and all the nonprofits that I worked at before, it's usually the outcasts that don't get much credit because of the way they think. So that was the premise of the collection. That's how it all started. And then from there, we just branched out and evolved. And here we are now, three years later, uh, legitimate business, creating streetwear, multimedia, traveling, working with all these organizations. And I can't wait to see what 10 years looks like. All right. All right, Alan. You've been with me since the very beginning. I've been with you since the very beginning. What brought you to Black Sheep? What? That came out kind of funny, but uh, yeah, I've been with, uh, with E when he started Black Sheep in uh, uh, 2019, late 2019. And what is the question? The question is What brought you to Black Sheep? What? Where were you at at that point in time when you said, okay, I'm all in? I was, I believe, two years out of graduate school. You know, I got my uh, master's degree, and I was in my second year of commercial banking. Um, that's how I met, well, I met E at the master's program, if you follow any of our podcasts, uh, you know, the but we worked together at the bank, and at the time, he was going through a little hardship, uh, he injured his back, he got out of shape. Um, and we've always talked about social issues, and we've always talked about giving back. So when he uh, came with me the idea of Black Shirt, um, you know, started with a logo, a little picture, and that's how it all began. And I said, yeah, it looks it's a cool picture. But what are we going to do with it? And, uh, you know, basically what we're going to do is personal, professional development, help people reach goals, you know, set new milestones, get to the next level. And that's when I decided, like, I wanted to be a part of it. So ever since then, it's been about year three. And we've grown a lot, we've learned a lot, a lot of trial and error, uh, but at the time, you know, I felt like, yeah, I had a job, I was making, you know, decent money, I had my career going and all that stuff, but giving back, I think it's more important, you know, and this is our way of giving back to people, to the community, uh, to anyone who wants help, uh, you know, from maybe if they want to get better physically, spiritually or mentally, or want to get smarter, or want to pursue higher education. At the end of the day, you know, we provide content for all that. So definitely, you know, I'm happy that I've been a part of Black Sheep for the past three years. And, um, you know, I think the future is real bright for us, and we will continue to keep improving ourselves and the people around us and, and all of our followers. And like I said, whoever you're interested, follow us, you know, go to our website, check us out. Check out our articles. We have a lot of helpful information out there. Um, and we're kind of all over the place. And we do that on purpose. You know, We're not just one thing. We're not just, let's go to the gym. You know, we're all about education. We're all about physical fitness. We're all about obviously having fun, right? So that's where we're at. Oh, yeah, man. You know, at the end of the day, like I said, I think we're good. I think we're going to move forward and uh, uh, help inspire a lot of people to reach whatever goals they may have. Small or big. Right, I rock. You already introduced us, but let's hear from you. Where were you when you got asked to join the Black Sheep? What were you physically, mentally? Give us a little background. Well, honestly, man, um, I was just working on rock lifestyle. Um, I, I just came from a competition. Um, I'm going to say 
Um, Battle gets canceled. Battle gets canceled was a competition. I got a call from my boy Alan. Alan was like, yo, I got something that you always about. And, and he seen the premise of what my company was about. I'm all about helping people, motivating, you know. And most people don't look at it as a, a, a thing that you want to do. They always like, oh, you got to make that money. You got to do this. You got to do this rock. Make sure you put out a CD. And yeah, I want to do all those things, but I really want to help you. So that's when I became a lifestyle coach. And then I was kind of ousted from everybody. I was like, oh, you're doing too much. And then I met Black Shit. A place that fit what I was talking about. Just helping people, trying to get out there. And understanding that as long as we're providing the right services, the money will come. So I looked into it and like, man, that's a win-win situation. I get to help people in a possibility. And I always say the possibility of making money is in the process. But my main goal, my main aspiration was to help people. So when I was, I guess, when, in the point of me meeting black sheep, I was in the transition of actually really becoming myself. Really understanding where I supposed to be at in society. So that's where I was at, man. Hell oh, yeah. Hey man, I'm glad y'all hooked me up, dog, because this is a great relationship. We all have different ideas and different ways and walks of lifestyle of how we want to help people. But the only thing that really makes sense is how many people we can help with our ideas. So your idea might can be dope, but it might not be for right now. And I'm glad I got three brothers with me that's able to, we can lock in and we can do just that. So that's me, man. That's right, baby.
All right, guys. You know, it's been a pretty long day, right? Yeah, it's Alan Fan behind the uh, camera here. You know, there's only three of us left, so I gotta sit back and uh, record you guys. But, um, you know, it's been a long day. How you guys feeling? We're tired. We, we, won't, we won't lie. We are pretty tired, but it was well worth it. It was fun. We got Rock out here from Cali. We got to do several exciting things today to showcase not only our business, but showcase that, hey, we're down to earth people. We're very much like you, not that much different from your average person, but we are black sheep, so we do things differently. But Rock, go ahead and give the people a little synopsis about what we did today. Man, like he said, man, today was a fun filled day, right? We went from waking up in the morning, mad early, right? We got up early, went and did a workout. From the workout, we went and got cleaned up. My man got dope. Hey, it was <laughs> Alan's spot too, man. Yeah. Alan Turner Zones oh, his place. Yeah. It was it's called um Lens Barbershop. Lens Barbershop, dude. Owned by Adan Gonzalez. Uh, that's one right. of my cousins. That's one of your cousins uh, right you know. there. And uh much like Black Sheep, he brought this little shop up from nothing with very little experience. And Alan was actually his first cut. Yeah. And now it has been a successful business, post-COVID, pre-COVID. He did it all. Yeah, it's definitely Thank fun going back and uh, you know, you know, seeing seeing the shop still there. And now I take my kid, and he gets haircuts regularly. So yeah, this morning was definitely very exciting, and right? you know, we had a we had a real good time. It's like it's it's, it's mom, mom, monumental in like a person's growth when you see a small business. Those small or those those little unique stories that actually show you where you started from to where you are now actually really makes the journey worth it. And we got an opportunity to see that, man. And that wasn't the only one, though. We no. had another place. We went axe throwing where we got to meet some great people. Not, oh, only the, yeah. not only the professionals there who were teaching us how to throw the axe because, you know, it's, it's not a safe sport or safe hobby to do. Yeah. Uh, but we got to meet Pam and yeah. the other owner that you see on, on our videos, on our stories. We get to meet him too. He's very energetic, very passionate about what he does. But go ahead and tell him how, how Axe Throwing went. Hey man, Axe Throwing was crazy. We, got, we actually got to see our competitive skill as far as just being, you know, bros and everything like that. So actually having fun and actually, you know, just just showing a brotherhood, man. That's what this whole trip was about. At the end, at the end of the day, of course, we had a whole list of things we wanted to do, but the end of it was all about brotherhood, and right. that allowed us to actually right. showcase these places in, in, right. in a fashion that we want to show it, the yeah. black sheep fashion. Yeah. So, hey man, this was great. Um, the models. Oh man, the models, dude. Yeah, no, so, so young, man. so cool, so energetic. And they're very representative of what the Black Sheep brand is. Dynamic individuals. One of our models is an all-state champ in wrestling. As a young woman, that is very rare to find, especially to fight against that stigma. You know, we have other ones who are very in debt with their communities, with, the, with their religion. Everything they do, their ministries, they go out and serve their people. And that's what black sheep do. We serve our people in our way, in our manner. We have art, we have written form, we have design form, fashion. We also have media form, we bring you these videos. But overall, we ha it has the same underlying message. It's created to help you, to help you understand that you have potential and you do not need to be bogged down by cultural or societal norms. Hey man, so you hear it from the horse's mouth or the horse's mouth. Hey man, you continue to be a black sheep. Don't let anybody put out your light. Even when it's dark, you will always shine as a black sheep. Hey man, it's your boy Rock from our lifestyle. It's my man E. And Alan behind the camera. Hey, it's been a, a hey great, man. great time. And we are black sheep. Till next time, baby. Next time.